Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here. I want to do a quick update with you guys. Uh, in the background of this video, you're going to see me playing Machinarium. Awesome, awesome, awesome game. Uh, very, very cool little puzzle game. And uh, I've only played a couple of levels, but it's very cool, right up my alley. I love the art style, I love uh, the puzzling aspect of the game. I like how creative the puzzles are. And uh, I think it's going to get actually pretty difficult, so... Uh, I'm excited to see where this game goes. Uh, I may actually do a let's play of it at some point, but I'll get to that a little bit later. The first update I have for you guys is regarding what games I'm currently playing. As you know, I'm doing XCOM every three days. Uh, that's just a fun side project with you guys. I personally love XCOM and I would do an XCOM video every single day. Uh, but I think you guys would get bored of that. Uh, it doesn't seem like a ton of people are interested in it. However, uh, I am doing that every three days and some people are keeping up with the journals, which is really cool, really exciting for me. And uh, it's a ton of fun. The other game I'm doing is Hitman. I'm loving Hitman. There's a couple things I don't like. I don't like uh, the reliance on the little um, instinct meter thing. Um, I know that's a personal thing that you can turn off or whatever, but I find without it, you kind of get lost and you're not sure what you can do, but with it, you become really reliant on it. So I kind of, I try not to abuse it as much as I possibly can, but uh, the thing is you want to have fun, you want to get the creative kills, so you want to use the, the instinct meter to see what your possibilities are. So uh, that's something that I need to still kind of balance in abusing it versus just not using it at all. Uh, the other game I'm playing is Assassin's Creed, and I have an update for Assassin's Creed. I'm actually going to put that that Let's Play on hold, and here's my reasoning behind it. I cannot get into that character. I cannot get into Haytham. I cannot get into that world. I'm just having a hard time really sinking myself into Assassin's Creed right now. Now, that could be because I haven't played all of the previous games. I played Assassin's Creed, the first one, when it came out a long time ago. So even that, that's like way out of my memory. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to shelf Assassin's Creed 3 right now. And I'm, I may come back to it down the road. Similar to how I did with Half-Life, I may start at the beginning and I may go all the way through uh, during some downtime and when I get past all these other games that I want to do. But for right now, I'm going to put Assassin's Creed 3 on hold and uh, and I will not be making any more videos on it for the time being. What I will say is if you guys do want to see Assassin's Creed 3 videos, a good friend of mine, Linus117, is doing a very good series. He's pretty deep into it already and uh, you can go over to his channel and check it out. I would highly recommend you do that. He's really entertaining, really funny guy and uh, I think you guys are going to like him if you don't know him already. But uh, I hope that doesn't upset too many people. It's just, you know, I can't play a game that I'm not enjoying and that I and I'm not sinking myself into the story and into the character. That's not me, and I I have to shelf it. And maybe I'll come back to it down the road. The second update I have for you guys is regarding uh, potential games that I'm going to be starting very soon. So since Assassin's Creed Three is off the table, I'm going to be starting a new series on Saturday. I've got a couple of options. Uh, I'm not really putting it up for a vote, but I'm going to give you guys the, the next few games that I'm really interested in playing. Uh, the next games that I'm interested in are Deus Ex Human Revolution. That's a game that I overlooked when it first came out, and what a stupid move. Um, it looks amazing. And this, it, the story, from what I've heard, is like so deep. There's a lot going on, and that's the kind of thing that I really want to sink my teeth into. Just like Half-Life, where there's all these things going on, and there's such a great story being told. I really want a game like that. Same with Bioshock. I was like sucked right into that. Like Rapture really uh, took its hold on me, and I loved it. I absolutely loved Bioshock. So. Um, Bioshock, Half-Life, um, Portal 1, they were all fantastic, and Deus Ex Human Revolution uh, looks like it's something that I can really sink my teeth into, and uh, I think it would be fun to do a Let's Play of because I think a lot of people have played it, and what I really like is when you guys give me, uh, not like tips, but you kind of say, oh, in the next coming up section, you kind of want to look for this or this without spoiling it. I love that. That's fun, and I try not to create too big of a buffer. Uh, in pre-recorded videos when I'm doing that stuff because I like to be able to um, React to different things based on what you guys are suggesting and uh, that's just fun for me Another game I want to do is spec ops the line. It's it's on the surface. It's a generic FPS war game, but 
But from what I understand, there's a lot of really interesting elements in the story. Uh, a lot of moral kind of ambiguity. That sounds very interesting. Obviously, Portal 2. Obviously, Portal 2. I, I really want to play Portal 2. Like, I really do. Um, I think that's going to be an absolute blast. So I'm looking forward to that. The other game is Bioshock 2. Bioshock was amazing. I just finished that recently. And holy shit, um, Bioshock 2 looks amazing. Now, another thing that I want to start doing more of, okay? I've done a couple of these little games, like I did, I did Flyin', I did Unmechanical. Um, the, the, the games I really like, you guys, I love doing these little indie games. So there's obviously Machinarium, which is in the background. There's Limbo, which is an older game, but I, I have never finished it, and I would like to do that. There's Bastion. Uh, which I played a long time ago when it came out, but I would love to play that game again. There's Botanicula, which looks really cool. There's Closure. Um, but there's two very, very cool indie games that are coming out in the next couple of months that I am really looking forward to. The first one is called Primordia. Uh, it comes out on December 5th, I think. Google it. Actually, I'll put a link in, uh, maybe I'll put a link in the com or in the description below uh, for Primordia and you can go and check that out. It looks very cool. I'm excited to play it. Uh, the second uh, indie game that I'm very, very excited for and it's kind of uh, more on a personal level is a game called Contrast. Oh my god, it's such a cool idea. Uh, it's all about, it's heavily inspired by, by Portal actually um, in the sense that you're getting around a level in an unconventional way. So Contrast is all about playing in the shadows. And I'm gonna send you a link to the website and I think uh, they have it on uh, Greenlight as well. well. I know they have it on Greenlight, but I'm not sure if I can find the link for it there. But I'll put a link so you can see Contrast. What's really cool is being developed by somebody in Montreal, which is where I am. And a few months ago, I messaged the developer and said, Hey, you know what? I see this, this game you're creating. I saw it on, on Greenlight. And uh, holy shit, it looks awesome. And you're from Montreal. Just It's awesome to see local talent. Blah, blah, blah. The guy gets back to me. His name is Guillaume. He's the guy uh, behind Contrast. And he says, yeah, add me up on Steam. So we ended up uh, just, we chat pretty regularly. And uh, he... Um, is super busy right now developing the game, but we've done some gaming sessions together. We played some Borderlands together, things like that. It's fun, very casual. But the other day, uh, he actually invited me down to the studio, and I don't know how much I can say, so I'm not going to say a whole lot, but uh, I got to go down to the studio to watch some voiceover acting uh, for the creation of this game, and I gotta say, it's like, holy shit. I'm even more excited now, and obviously I'm more personally invested in it because I'm seeing some of the creation of the game, but what a cool opportunity, and it's such a good guy, such a good uh, small company that's developing this amazing looking game, such a creative idea, and holy shit, I'm just like, I, you guys have to check out Contrast, it looks amazing. It should be coming out, I think, uh, the beginning of 2013, but keep your eye on it. Wow, it got, it got green lit on Steam, so uh, they'll be working with them to uh, get it integrated into Steam, and I think... I know for sure it's coming out on PC, but uh, potentially on uh, Xbox, PlayStation, even uh, maybe Mac. But that's all yet to be seen, so. Uh, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is uh, one thing I get a lot of requests for. Uh, not necessarily in comments, but I get a lot of like uh, private messages about it. People asking me, um, are you going to do any like live cam stuff? Um, I'm probably never going to, well I'm not going to say never. I'm probably not going to do any live cam stuff with a game, okay? But what I would like to start doing is kind of like a series. And uh, I have an idea for a series where I would I would be doing it on camera. Um, and I'm thinking about calling it Odd's Opinion, okay? So, Odd's Opinion, here's kind of some initial brainstorm of it and tell me what you guys think. Uh, you guys, I would post a video saying, okay, I need, I need your questions or uh, whatever. And you would leave a comment saying, Mr. Odd, I need your opinion on this. And it could be anything you want. It could be on gaming. It could be on, uh, I need your opinion on what should I wear to my school dance. Or I need your opinion on underage drinking. Or Mr. Odd, I need your opinion on what kind of 
game I should buy or what shoes I should wear, whatever the hell you want. Really, um, the more the more questions I get, the better, and I'll pick some of the more interesting ones and uh, just have some fun with it. It's not going to be something to take super seriously, obviously, but I think it would just be really fun and uh, a good way to do uh, something on like maybe a weekly basis where I get in front of the camera and I answer some of these goofy uh, things that you want opinions on. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe that's stupid, maybe it's not, but I think we could have uh, some fun with it. You guys are a pretty good crew, and uh, I really appreciate everybody that comes around. So that's about it for me. I think I said about 5,000 words here in a span of about uh, 10, 11 minutes here. So uh, thank you guys very much for watching, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I would love to hear uh, your opinions <laughs> on everything that I've said here. I know I covered off a lot and uh, we will talk to you guys very soon. Have a good weekend and uh, be odd.